Wait, 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 wait. One, people two, are subbing people in and out. Are subbing in and out in the middle they of the They got live subs. <laughs> it's like hockey chicken. What's up everyone, I'm Taylor Kim. Today I'm joined by my brother Connor. We are both former college basketball players and today we're gonna to be breaking down iconic basketball scenes from movies. First one up, Coach Carter. Anyone who's played high school basketball in a high stakes situation, because these these guys are supposedly in high school, it's a movie, but man, these are like the best memories from high school basketball, these games like this. Look at the swag though, what year is this supposed to be? How big are the shorts? The jerseys are like inseam cut right there. Also, you would never say the play out loud right here because I don't know about high school, but in college, the other team's gonna know your play calls. This is where your best players have to take over right here. When the play breaks, when the play breaks down, you guys hit one. That looks. Legit. For a game winner, that's believable. I like it. A floater in the lane, especially on a broken play. Favorite, especially since they're actors, but their level of like, skill playing yeah. basketball looks better than most movies, I would say. I know it's a, a true story, so like, kind of believe. Is it really? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, I think Coach Carter's true story. Are you sure? Yeah. Taylor, put it on screen if it is um, a true story or not. And it wasn't like some ridiculous crazy shot. It was a nice no, just float. Nice yeah. Teardrop That's floater a legit over the big. Game winner, especially when a play breaks down. Yeah. I like All that. right. Next up, High School Musical. Okay, so they're they're coming out for their warm ups. Some warm ups. I never had a hoodie warm up. I would not want to zip. Okay. Away. Whenever, pause this really quick. Whenever you see a team start off the layup lines with off the backboard volleys, just. You've won the game already, okay? <laughs> no one does that before a game. Any good team does not do that. I've never seen a crowd this into the warm-ups though. <laughs> when you're doing warm-ups, it's not, people aren't cheering for your layups and your jumpers. Gotta get it inside down low. Okay, now compare this gameplay to Coach Carter, and you can tell the level of skill is completely different. Zach Efron is Zach Efron, the local. Shout out Zach. He's a huge basketball fan. Like he loves basketball. But <laughs> I can't get behind the singing. I'm sorry. How many players on the court? Wait, 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 wait. One, People two, are subbing two. in People and out. Are subbing in and out in the middle. They of the got play. live subs. It's like hockey chicken. It's just, there's no rules. You just hop on when you feel like it. It feels bad being critical of a movie like this, but this is stuff I've always wanted to say. Like, <laughs> Oh yeah. my. It's tough. It's a strong celebration. <laughs> you act like he got knocked out. Oh my gosh, this that's is a high wild. school? <laughs> that's super sick. Oh, here we go. Of course. I, yeah, so my, my junior year, this happened in the middle of our game. Uh, we were on the road, someone else on the other team got leveled, and then all the lights went out, and this guy's girlfriend stood up in the crowd. It was just like, ugh. I hate it when that happens. Get a shot He's triple teamed. Oh my god. Just get me the ball. Okay. Rocket man. Come on. Come on, Rocket Man. You're in. Oh my gosh, this scrub. Oh yeah. Calm down, okay? <laughs> Destroyed his confidence. <laughs> right before he's about to make a big play. Calm down, okay? This is for game, right? Oh, oh. Yes, this guy's gonna have to hit it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
No way. <laughs> Pause, he had that much time and they were that close? He caught it. He has time to think about it. They're right there! And he had all that time to think about Second it? Second of all, anyone on the team could have made that layup. Why do they have to check him in for that? Oh my gosh, I don't that, understand. that kid would have been absolutely beat. That, yeah, the realism in that. The only real thing that they got right is that that kid would be a nerd on any team. <laughs> the longest yard. Okay, so not a basketball movie, but definitely an iconic basketball scene. Adam Sandler plays basketball in like every single movie he's ever done. He actually... Um, he hoops. Yeah, we'll see. And this, like, his jumper looks fine. Games 11, call your own fouls. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I know... <laughs> I know that it's supposed to be like, you know, it's prison rules and like if you call a foul on this, you're soft. Yeah. But that is literally how it is to play a football player in intramurals. That is how Facts. football players play. Every football player I know that plays basketball cannot control their body at all. Oh, oh your shot. Good fundamentals. Takes them <laughs> My teeth, all my teeth would fall out. Street rules, so. Prison rules. That was a carry, actually. Show the replay. See? It shows the full shot. Oh. That was another carry. Oh, yeah, that's Carmen. Okay. Yeah. He had to swat him. That was an obvious carry. His boy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, god, he just clocked him with his elbow. Game point, baby. How you want game put up? Foul. <laughs> to ever call foul on game point, pulling up for a jumper fadeaway and you call foul, that is just like the worst, especially on game point. Yeah, it's frustrating. I know a lot of people who do that too. After a game of pickup, you know what a foul and what isn't, but then as soon as it gets to game point, it just changes and just everything's a foul. Yeah, never do that. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate disrespect. All right, next up, One Tree Hill. You know, it's been said that we just don't recognize the significant moments of our lives while they're happening. He has the build of a Hooper, at least. I'll say that. I know what happens in the rest of the scene, but he's kind of got a Hooper build. <laughs> Look how high that dribble it is. You're ripping that immediately. Did you hear that? He has a personal vendetta with this guy? Yeah, yeah we have to hear out. Oh, just play this game. Someone else on the team would definitely run up and foul. I've been on teams where that's happened. He got foul on the last play and it's a four point play. <laughs> that is an immediate tee. That's a tee for and sure. He shoves the ref. Anytime you touch the referee, you get a second. You can't play. touch a ref. You definitely cannot get up and shove them. Come on. Yeah, it's like, come on. So he has one free throw now, but he would really have three or four because of the double tee that that guy got. You got nothing, Scott. Nothing. You can't be right there on a free throw. Oh my god. Oh, he shoots it with looking at the. It hits it. Oh my god. Well, staring down at the guy. You got nothing, Scott. Foul him. No, he's mine. So the coach has foul because they're up three. If you foul, even if he hits both, you get the ball back. There was only like three seconds left. You win. You get to trash talk him. You get. You have, you know, that thing o over his head. Instead, he goes, no, I'll stop him from making a three. Best case scenario, he still loses. And what, he missed the game winner? How about yeah. not allow him one? That bug me more. And then, whatever his name is, to just hit yeah. the free throw. While looking at him in the face. Just looking at him in the face. He's the best basketball player I've ever seen. That is absurd. <laughs> it's hard to shoot one with your eyes closed looking at the hoop, but when your head's turned the whole yeah, opposite way. Yeah, your whole trajectory is off. Everything is different, like. Semi-pro. Waving to the fans as he makes his way down the court. Live, right here. Throw it in the he truly is a showman. No, change my mind. Right back, though. Okay. Right back to you. Okay. Give it back again. You got it? No, right back. No, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sure? Yeah. Right back. Come on up. No. 
Do it. Right back. Reset. Jack. Throw it to Papa. Go. No. Right back out. Right. right back. Right back. Here you go, Jack. Back to you. You ready? Okay. Right back. Go. Shoot. Woo. All right. Right on. Clear. Yeah. You ready? No. Right back. No. Yeah. Okay, clear. All right, I'm clear. My turn. Yeah, I'll bet my alleged son he won't make this. Janky Moon finally making a move, and it is worth the uh, wait. All day long. <laughs> all, all day, day long. long. All right, next one. Space Jam. Man, no joke now. Come on, come on, come on. It's gut check time. All right, so we're clearly back to prison. Enough. Anyone that loves basketball has seen this movie a billion times. Yeah, that's what he gets for head Yeah, there's no really rules here, but... You're telling me there's no rules here? Everyone's always dreamed about stretching their arm, just dunking. This is my thing. So he's stretching, right? He didn't need to, to bring it back. He could have just dropped it in, but mm -hmm. you know. He also went super high, yeah. which elongated his time to actually put <laughs> yes. it in. And then he ends with two, two hands, hands on, on the, the rim. rim. Yeah. Bill Murray, though, is the classic your local gym type guy, though. Yeah. He, he's gonna get a lot of assists. You know, he's, he's, got, like, he's got crafty moves. Yeah. He's, he's got the hat backwards. He's not out there for the points. You know, he's just. All right, next one Thunderstruck. Could have scored, pulled it out. That's a terrible reach. Yeah. This is not good defense. He's got a good shot, actually, that kid. Let's do it. No room, huh? A little different when you're going up against the Henry Ford Community College Honorable Mention All Conference Guard. Huh? The coaches go out there with their best player, also help D, so it's a three on one. How is this a tryout for your team? To make Timothy beat the coach for some reason. Not very good looking at the time, but get it. Anyways, I've never seen that movie. That doesn't make me want to see it. His dribbling didn't look that bad though, and his shot was decent looking. So yeah. at least like the kid knew what he was doing. The bad. the best player on the team though was terrible. His defense, yeah. his That's the thing. his face, everything about that kid was not good. Air Bud. Alright, so for this next segment, Air Bud, we're obviously gonna bring out Lainey so she can give her two cents as well. That's pretty, pretty realistic, playing for that, that age group. That'd be so hard for the dog to run on a basketball court. I thought the ball was just in the stands. <laughs> this thing goes everywhere. What is he trying to do, call tech? I like how everyone in the crowd is like on drugs. Like yeah. <laughs> they're just on a trip. It is hard to catch a dog sometimes, but you have that many people that someone's getting that dog. He <laughs> just scares up. There's so many refs that look like that guy. That would not be everyone's reaction, I'm sorry. You'd be like, wow, that was crazy, but no one's really gonna be fine with what just happened still. Yeah, I know. All the, all <laughs> the Gators cool with it. spilled on the court. The ref diving into the stands. It's just past news. All right, final thoughts on Air Bud. Laney, we'll start with you. Was the dog's performance believable? What do you think? Yeah, she, she didn't like it. She didn't like it at all. <laughs> um, I mean, there's not much to say basketball-wise about this. Not really. <laughs> We're, we're stretching it with Air Bud. I, I know that for sure. Honestly, still better than One Tree Hill. I'm gonna say it. Still more, that, what just happened, the dog, everyone's sliding, everyone cracking up. Mm. More believable than not fouling, shooting without looking, a four point play. Or High School Musical game. with just live subs, everyone running back and <laughs> yes. forth. Even Air, Bud, Air Bud did it better than those two. White men can't jump. Are we gonna get a little 
basketball competition, because if not... More hat basketball players, though. He started it, I think. I think it started with Woody Harrelson, with the backwards. But he, even Wesley Snipes wearing a forward hat, but just small yeah. brim. I love that pass. Whenever you see someone wide open, and you just gotta zip it to him. So this this movie obviously what a great no -look pass, dude. <laughs> boosts himself. This is the best. This obviously is the epitome of street ball, like trash talk and stuff. I played Venice Ball, um, which is like a pretty big street ball league. It's less talking trash and more you hate the other team and like you're actually like about to throw fists. That's more of what I've learned from street ball. Maybe it's changed, but if Woody Harrelson was doing what he was doing especially like in a really intense street ball game, I think it would just end in blows. They do ex such extra things that would never work. Look at this play right here. Back door, 360 layup <laughs> for no reason. No one's doing that, especially if you're in a tournament. It's fun to watch. They're making good moves, but it's just so elevated. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. That was two former college basketball players breaking down iconic basketball scenes. Comment down below your favorite basketball movie of all time. I know I left some off this list. If y'all like this video, if you wanna see another one, I still have some on the list that we can break down. If you guys have a favorite scene, I'll find that, put that in. Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. This video is a little different, but it was fun to do. It was good. I've always uh, wanted to say these things about yes. basketball movies. I, so. I feel like every Hooper can watch High School Musical and just take shots at it for like 30 <laughs> minutes. New videos every Thursday, so I'll see you next week. Peace.